Today in our 2010 Chrysler Town & Country, we'll be installing the Kurt Hitch part number 13364. Here's what our hitch looks like installed on our vehicle. Now we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements in helping you choose some accessories for your hitch, such as a ball mount, a bicycle rack, or a cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is approximately 4 inches, and from the top of the opening in the receiver to the ground is approximately 13 inches. Now let's go ahead and install our hitch. To begin with, we're going to need to lower the exhaust down out of the way to gain access to the existing hardware that's in the frame on the passenger side. Before we lower the exhaust though, we're going to go ahead and put a safety strap in place just in case so we can give the exhaust a little extra support once it's lowered down. Once the safety strap is in place, we'll go ahead and remove the bolt that holds the rearmost exhaust hanger. With this bolt removed, now we'll go ahead and move up one. Again, we'll just remove a bolt and remove the whole exhaust hanger from the frame. For this one, we'll go ahead and use a little spray lubricant and a pry bar to remove it from the hanger. Now with the exhaust lowered down out of the way, we can gain access to our mounting locations. There will be two on the passenger side and three on the driver's side. And we will be using existing hardware that's already in the frame. We'll need to first remove all the existing hardware To do this, we use a 15 millimeter and an 18 millimeter socket. Now with all the hardware removed, we can go ahead and show you which bolts will be used on which locations on the hitch. Again, as you can see here, the two most rear locations will be using the smaller bolt, which is a 10 millimeter bolt, and the other three locations will be using the 12 millimeter bolt. Now we're ready to go ahead and put our hitch up into place. It's a good idea to get an extra set of hands to help you raise the hitch up, as it is a little heavy. Now with the hitch raised up into place, go ahead and begin loosely putting all the bolts into place. You may need to move the hitch around a little bit once you have a couple bolts in to line up the additional holes. You will see here on the passenger side that there are two air conditioning lines that run right where we'll be mounting our hitch. The hitch will go just behind these two lines, but you need to be careful when installing it that you don't crimp or pinch either of these lines. Now with all the hardware installed, we can go ahead and tighten it down. and then torque it to the manufacturer's specifications. Now that all the hardware has been torqued, now we're ready to go ahead and put the exhaust back up. Now that the exhaust is held back up into place, now we're ready to remove our safety strap. And with that, that'll conclude the installation of our Kurt Hitch, part number 13364 on our 2010 Chrysler Town & Country.